Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. Um, in this replay we have Evo in the tier 7 one of, right, one of the tier 7 Russian premium heavy tanks. It is the IS-2S. Um, so Evo, gonna go with vents, rammer, and a rotation device, which is kind of, you know, a very decent all-round uh, build for the IS-2S. Unfortunately this replay is with the, the sound bug where you can't hear the engine, so I guess we have a uh, sneaky, sneaky tanks today. You can still hear the ramming and stuff, obviously. Um, but yeah, no engine sounds, which is a bug that has been around for ages. For ages now. Um, but still has not been fixed, unfortunately. So Evo, gonna go with a lot of gold rounds in the IS-2S, even though the regular rounds are okay for against DSX. Um, 175 millimeters of penetration. Not good, not bad, very average for ATS-7 Heavy. Uh, the premium rounds with 217 will be able to go through pretty much everything in this matchup. So I guess, I guess Evo just does, wants to confirm the shots and forging missing the T-34-85 with the first shell. Can we get him with the second shell? That is a chunky boy gun, it's a 122mm that shoots uh, 390 damage per shot. Unfortunately, it does not seem to be hitting today. Maybe that one. Maybe that one actually hit the third shell into the T-3045. Might have hit over there. But just gonna continue pushing forth in this steps assault matchup against some tier 6 vehicles. So, uh, so yeah. Some lovely matchup over here for Evo and their platoon mate Nemesis in the T-34-100, which actually went towards the east. They decided to split up. One will win the west. One will win of the east. Um, this KV1S is kind of getting into the position. Evo wanted to. Oh my goodness, they're just getting in front of behind each other. This is not looking good, but there we go. There we go. Evo has, is now in position to shoot the P43. It's going forwards into the track. Track damage 405 damage to that tier. Six Italian medium tank. My goodness. Can't be. It can't seem to be speaking today, but there's a Skoda Tween 20, 25. I always say Tween 25 for some reason, instead of T25. Speech. Speech has eluded us once more. Tiger 1 towards the west. You need to watch out for that very dangerous tier 7. German heavy tank. 1 into the side of the tiger, though. Going to leave him on a 297 HP. And there we go. It's just the huge gun. This is just what you do with the IS-2S. You don't have the best of armor. Um, the turret is kind of weak, you have a capola, you have the cheeks that are weak, uh, the hull is very weak as well. It is angled kind of weird, so you can bounce a few shells. But you shouldn't trust too much the armor on the IS-2S. So it's mostly about just going forwards and out. Oh my goodness, luckily the tracks were able to absorb that KV-2 shell. It's just go forwards and out trade your opponents with your 390 alpha damage gun. And there we go, Super Hellcat is spotted as well, can we catch the Super Hellcat, unfortunately. That one did not hit the tier 7 American tank destroyer, deciding not to go from the same side again, which is understandable, I mean, you don't want to get hit by the KV-2. You do not want that, but there's another KV-2 over here, actually. Are they in a platoon? They're not actually in a platoon. One into the turret of the KV-2, easily going through the very weakly armoured tier 6 Russian heavy tank and then we get support from the back so that KV-2 is not feeling well anymore and that KV-2 is gone. Now the BZ-58, the tier 7 uh, Chinese rocket boosted heavy tank. Is it the rocket? I don't remember if they have rocket boosted tier 7 or if it's from tier 8 but it's the rocket boosted line anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah. Trying to catch that cheeky tier 7 Chinese heavy uh, did no shot over there. Just going for the tracking shot. Do not want the BZ move. And actually get some tracking damage over here, which is always nice to get as well. So, up to 1,458 damage. 1,000 assistance trying to go through the bushes blind. Maybe a KV-2 is over there. Maybe a Super Hellcat. Super Hellcat is down to 674 HP. So it wasn't actually hit by Evo. Most likely a hit by the Poodle or someone towards the north. Nemesis, unfortunately, falls towards the east. The final player. On that eastern flank falls and now it is up to Evo and everyone in the north and the west to be able to win this steps assault over here. BZ is now wanted. Can you put just one more shell to the plate? 
Just one more. There we go. Finishing off the tier 7 Chinese heavy tank over here. And now there's a Leo with KV2 and a super Hellcat. I need to be aggressive. We can't let them get behind you. We need to go and do the damage. One into the backside of the Leo. Leaving them on 300 HP over here. That is a one shot. Just need to get him before he repairs the track. Just need to get him before he repairs the track. And there we go. Leo is gone. Is done. Is out of this battle. 2,900 damage and 3 kills. So far in this battle. Pushing forwards over here against the KV-2 against the Super Hulker. The problem with the IS... 2S is that, you know, it's a Russian heavy. It doesn't have gun depression. Only six degrees of gun depression is definitely not enough to fight in this area. But the KV-2 is getting hit by everything. Luckily, is the KV-2 going to fall? Yes, the storm will finish off the KV-2. Can try and find a shot into the Jackson. Lucky the Jackson did not fall back behind the wall. And there we go, 370 into that tier 6. American tank destroyer. My goodness, the north seems to be crumbling as well. What is Evo going to do over here? What will Evo do over here? This is not looking good. Even though they're down only by one vehicle, HP-wise and like position-wise, the enemy team just has way better stuff. They have better positions, they have a lot more HP, and now they're up by two vehicles as well. Need to catch that Amex 1375. The Poodle is kind of in the way, but can you get the shot? Unfortunately, the MX-1375 is able to run away, and that is a very dangerous vehicle to have. That is like one of the best assassins at tier 7. You do not want that against you. One to the hull of the T-25 too. Luckily hitting the upper plate and not the turret over there. The T-25 too does have a bit of armor. Uh, where the gun is, you know, that spaced armor that might bounce a few shells, but not this one. But not this one. And there we go, Shirley T25 is pushing forwards. This is a 2v5 right now. It is Evo and the Poodle versus four vehicles now. Will they be able to... Oh my goodness, the onslaught of enemy mediums, the T345, the Skoda, T25. And then you have the light of the MX-1375 over there as well. They need to watch out from... The Poodle is down to water, the Poodle is down. And now it is a 1v3 against an MX-1375, and unfortunately losing the gunner over here by the Juto, taking off most of the HP as well. Trying to catch- my goodness, that was close, maybe you should have repaired the gunner before firing at the 1375, but they're repairing the gunner now. And now they should go to 325 once again. <laughs> it's getting behind Evo, unfortunately can't find the shell, they need two shots into that, should go to T25. And then there's still um, a Juto that we don't know how much HP they have. Shkoda going forwards, one, need to avoid, okay, don't get... The third one bounces, don't get rammed, okay, you can get rammed apparently. And there we go, shutting down the Shkoda T25, my goodness, 8 kills, 4,973 damage. In this battle so far, crazy stuff, that final bounce was just... It was just crazy, and the low roll, just look at the low roll by the Skoda T25, doing a 93 damage only, with that second shell that damaged us earlier. Whew, luckily catching the Juto over here, which is surprising, I mean the ice 2 only has 340 base view range, and there we go, there we go, spotted, and spotted, can't pen the Juto, this is not good, this is not good, need to watch out, you can't get penned over here, the turret is very weak, you need to watch out, Evo, just get the shot in the Juto, and there we go, securing that kill, securing the win. Doing 9 kills, 5,323 damage, and just having an awesome all-round game with the, the tier 7 Russian heavy tank, premium heavy tank, it is the IS-2S. So, yeah, you usually don't get so much damage blocked because, as you can see, the cheeks are very weak. This is something that a lot of people don't know about the is IS-2, IS-2S, um, all of those different forms of the same vehicle, basically. So most people would go for the Capola, but if they're moving, you can just try to shoot over here, right? Into the cheeks over here. Very weak as well. Cheeks over here, very weak as well. That is something that a lot of people uh, don't seem to know about the vehicle. Also, lower plate is weak, middle plate is weak, but if you hit the upper part, of that upper plate, then that is actually strong, so you need to watch out for that as well. Um, but yeah, overall, lovely battle for Evo, 9 kills, 5,000 damage, like I said earlier. How lovely was this battle? Let's just go and take a quick look in the post-game stats. There we go, easy ace tanker for the 2,283 experience earned over here. Actually getting the third mark, I didn't even notice that was a two mark, but yeah, Evo getting the third mark of excellence on the tier 7 Russian 
IS-2 armored is how it's called on what replays, but it's the IS-2 S, IS-2 shielded inside the game, if I'm not mistaken. A bunch of lovely ribbons over here, the Radley Walters Medal, but it's rank 8 or 9, in this case 9 vehicles, a Spartan for surviving a ricochet or non-penetrating shot from an enemy, but your vehicle has less than 10% of their hit points. You know that shot from the Skoda T25? Just crazy, just crazy stuff. Steel Wolf blocking 1730 damage, which is surprising, like the, the IS-2S is definitely not a very heavily armoured vehicle. So that is definitely quite surprising. Um, a high calibre, obviously for the 6,112 damage done over here, which is good for a tier 10. And it's a, at tier 7, so it's, it's absolutely insane. And obviously a top gun for at least 6 kills, in this case 9. So top gun and a half over here. Um, yeah, first on everything basically. And firing 26 rounds, 22 hit. 19 of those penetrated. It does make sense that you miss quite a few shots with the IS-2S. It has 0.46 um, base dispersion, if I'm not mistaken, which is trash. It's like very inaccurate. So yeah, if you do try to fight at long ranges, you will not have a lot of success. It needs to be inside its enemy's face. Just go shoot, fall back, try to trade with your higher alpha damage. Um, but it's 6,000 damage done, 788 from a distance of more than 300 meters or more, 15 hits received, 8 penned, 7 did not. So kind of like half and half almost over here with pens and non-pens. Like we said earlier, 1,730 damage blocked by the armor, 3 vehicles spotted. Which is very surprising considering that this vehicle has only 340 meters of uh, base view range. You don't really expect to spot anything, right? Uh, but yeah, 13 of the enemy vehicles damaged, that's basically all of the enemy team but two so only two vehicles were not damaged by um evo in this battle nine of those were destroyed 1235 damage calls due to the player's assistance traveling just under two kilometers in this battle in this eight minute battle over here and making a small profit as well it is a premium vehicle after all even with the gold that was fired over here even with the premium consumable it's still an 83 credit profit, which is always nice to get. Um, but yeah, with all of the missions, with all of the times 5 stuff, I don't know. Premium. 18,324 XP earned over here, with 599 free XP. So, Evo, amazing game. GG, well played. 6k damage is insane at tier 7. Absolutely lovely stuff. Uh, congratulations, obviously, for getting the third mark of excellence on your IS-2S. Lovely stuff over here. And yeah, this is it for this video. So as usual, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of the IS-2S or like the IS-2 or IS, the is in general. <laughs> uh, yeah, do you like them, dislike them, think they're too good, good, decent, bad? Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments down below. And as usual, thank you so much everyone for watching. You're awesome. Stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video, tell us people have a good one.